Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Arun's Biology. In this lecture, we'll discuss about the formation of a nucleotide with its components. So, let's begin the discussion. So, as in the previous lecture, we have described that a nucleotide is formed of three basic components. One is the ribose sugar, another is the nitrogenous base and the third is the phosphate group. Now, how they get assembled with each other to form a nucleotide? First, this is the ribose sugar. It is having the 1' prime carbon here and with this 1' prime carbon, one hydroxyl group is attached. In the nitrogenous space, it is having this number 1 nitrogen which is having a hydrogen group. So, this hydrogen and this hydroxyl group react with each other. As a result, one molecule of water is removed and here the bond that is formed is called the N-linked glycosidic bond. Okay, As nitrogen is present, so it is N-linked and glycosidic bond as with the nitrogenous base, a carbohydrate is being attached. So, it is called a glycosidic bond. So, this is a N-linked glycosidic bond by the removal of one molecule of water. The second bond that is formed to produce a nucleotide is a phosphoester bond which is formed between the fifth position that is fifth five prime carbon of this ribose sugar and the hydroxyl group of this phosphoric acid. So here also one molecule of water is removed and the bond that is formed is called phosphoester bond. As we know the meaning of ester ester equals to so ester is formed between the reaction between the alcohol plus the acid okay so here this group this group is an alcoholic group ch2oh and this is an acidic group so ester is formed as phosphate is involved so this bond is called phosphoester bond this is the first bond for the formation of a nucleotide. So, this bond is more specifically can be called as the phosphomonoester bond. So, there are two bonds. One is the N-linked glycosidic bond, another is phosphoester bond that helps in the formation of a nucleotide. One more information that you should know is if it is a pyrimidine, okay, if it is a pyrimidine, the bond is formed between the number one nitrogen and one prime carbon atom. If it is a purine molecule, if it is a purine molecule, that is, if it is, say for example, adenine or guanine, the bond is formed between the number one, that is one prime of the ribose sugar and the ninth nitrogen of this purine. So, if it is purine, the bond is one prime of carbon and number nine of the nitrogenous base. If it is a pyrimidine, the bond is number one of this pyrimidine and number one prime of this ribose sugar. Okay, so this is how the nucleotide is formed. Now, what is a nucleoside? So, nucleoside is basically a unit or structural component of a nucleotide which is composed of a nitrogenous base and a ribose sugar or you can say it like that that a nucleoside is a nucleotide minus a phosphate group. So, if we remove the phosphate group from a nucleotide, it will become a nucleoside or you can say it is a ribose sugar and nitrogenous base. So, when a ribose sugar is bound with a nitrogenous base with the help of N-linked glycosidic bond, it forms a nucleoside. When a nucleoside being attached with a phosphate group, it forms a nucleotide. Sometimes in the examination, a differentiation comes which asks the difference between the nucleoside and nucleotide. So, what will be the points to answer this question? So, nucleoside is basically the structural component of nucleotide while the nucleotide is the structural unit of DNA or RNA. Basically, nucleoside is composed of two things. One is the ribose sugar and second is the nitrogenous base. While nucleotide is composed of the ribose sugar, the nitrogenous base and the phosphate group. Or we can write nucleotide is made up of nucleoside plus the phosphate group. Okay. The third point is the nucleoside is formed 
only by the end-linked glycosidic bond between the ribose sugar and the nitrogenous base. While for the formation of nucleotide bond, it requires the formation of end-linked glycosidic bond and the phosphoester or more specifically phosphomonoester bond. So nucleosides are termed as adenosine or uh, uh, or suppose say for example guanosine. If it is a nucleotide, it is called as adenylate or adenylic acid because the phosphate group is attached with the adenosine. Now coming to the formation of phosphodiester bond. It is phosphomonoester bond between the ribose sugar and the phosphate group. The formation of phosphomonoester bond is this. So this is phosphodiester bond that is the second bond which is formed between two consecutive nucleotides. If suppose this is a hypothetical nucleotide, this is another nucleotide. Say for example here we have taken one pyrimidine molecule, here we have taken a purine molecule. So we have stated if it is purine the bond is formed between the ninth nitrogen and carbon 1 of the ribose and if it is a pyrimidine the bond is formed between the number 1 carbon and number 1 nitrogen okay so how the these two nucleotides join with each other to form a polynucleotide chain here at the 3 prime position the ribose sugar is having one hydroxyl group in the phosphate group of the next nucleotide it is also having a OH group this two OH will react with each other and form a bond this bond is again called a phosphoester bond why it is phosphoester bond because phosphate is involved in the formation of this bond and again this bond is formed between the alcoholic group of the ribose sugar and the acetic group of this phosphoric acid so this is a ester bond as we have denoted this as phosphomonoester bond so this is the second bond and this is called phosphodiester bond so this phosphodiester bond will lead to the formation of this kind of polynucleotide chain here we have two nucleotide so specifically it is called as a dinucleotide okay this is a dinucleotide so structure that is made up of nucleotide number one and nucleotide number two and this is the phosphodiester bond one more important thing we should remember that when this kind of phosphodiester bond is formed if we see the first nucleotide is having this 5 prime carbon okay which is having this 2 OH group free so there is the 2 uh, uh, this OH group that remain attached with the phosphoric acid is free while the last nucleotide of this polynucleotide chain will have this 3 prime OH group free that means here also 3 prime OH group is free and in this way this is the 5 prime OH is free so a polynucleotide chain is designated as a 5 prime end and a 3 prime end that means it is having a 5 prime OH free group that's why it is designated as 5 prime end and on the other end it is having a 3 prime OH free group so it is designated as 3 prime end that's why the DNA is designated as a 5 prime to 3 prime direction okay so this is all about the structure of nucleoside nucleotide and their difference okay in the next video lecture we will try to describe the Watson and Crick model and its salient features thank you for watching